Here we are at Figman's Inspiration Station. Members of the Corps, we have a genuine roller cruiser crossover moment. We are going to find out if the $5 rainbow cake here at Festival of the Arts is better than the complimentary rainbow cake on Rotterdam. Here is Epcot's entry, and I realize that series hasn't even started yet, so here is a sneak peek, if I know what I'm doing. And to note, this one has freeze-dried Skittles on it. Well, there you go. Huge plus one to Disney for respecting the upcharge. That was a significant level up over Rotterdam, which was pretty good for cruise cake. Good dessert. I'm actually glad I got it. Only had five. Five! There you go. I can do it now. It only had five stripes, though. I still never saw the one tile. I just did Soren. It was only a 30 minute wait, but it was Soren over California, not the world. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, no, I didn't step in any poo. Anyway, I'm gonna get some water and maybe hit. Oh, not on my watch. Dang it. Back to Magic Kingdom and figure out what to do tomorrow. I might do, I could do, probably not, early entry at Islands. It's been a while since. Oh, well, it's closed. Well, there you go. Here's what we're dealing with. Wait times aren't too bad. I'm gonna go over to Creation Shop, see if there's anything interesting. Take a ride on Spaceship Earth and back to Magic Kingdom. I do have to go there because that's where I'm parked. Yeah, the merch this time is not great. I lucked out with that hat from, wow, two or three visits ago. This is still the best thing to come out of the 50th anniversary. Oh, she's gorgeous. A big part is this feels like it was always supposed to be here. It doesn't feel like a, a retrofit or an addition. It's just, it's part of it. That was a very nice and successful quick trip to Epcot. Got to get the monorail back to Magic Kingdom. I don't know how long I'm going to stay there. I don't even know if I'm going to go in. Probably it's getting late and uh, it's going to be my bedtime soon. Still don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Maybe I should go and turn in early and get up and do, whoops a daisy. <laughs> it wasn't a, what is the, these things? The thermite cups? I know, there's not thermite cups. What, what is it called? I don't even know. I don't have one. I'm not gonna get one. It's stupid. Ta-da, back at Magic Kingdom. And in two days, new thing, I used the Magic Mobile on the phone. So my pass is in Google Pay and it works. Awesome. And I'm going to check wait times about an hour or so, I'll probably stay. I do want to leave before the fireworks ends because then it's just a, a nightmare. Unless the buses are running. There's your pro tip, I've said this before. If you're leaving after the fireworks, see if the buses are running to TTC. That is the best way to get back to the parking lot. I saw next to the line for Country Bear Jamborees had been backed up to Pirates, but not so much. They might have closed the line early. That's, that's unusual for Disney. There is, of course, still a line. They might have redirected it over here. Let's see. Just a crowd of people. Oh, boy. There's the marshaller, and it keeps going. There's taped switchbacks under there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe, switchbacks. And it just keeps going past Pecos Bill, past the other side of Pecos Bill, just around the corner, and there's cast... Oh, no. Oh, okay, this is what they meant. I went the wrong way. I went right out of Pirates. I should have gone left. Here's the line. Finally. Okay, well, there's Adventureland, and there's the end of the line. Oh, boy. <laughs> they closed the line at 9, two hours before park closed. They'll probably get through it right around 11. I won't be here. I think I'm going to take a ride on a Big Thunder and then head off. Enchantment, not Enchantment. Happily Ever After was at 8, so don't have to worry about the fireworks. Awesome. I know that sounds terrible, but the crowd, and I've seen them. Today apparently has not been a good day. Several of the animatronics have broke down. Here's a wildest ride in the
That was exactly 35 minutes, but that means we are done. Yeah, I saw an X Country Bears went down earlier. The line has moved maybe 100 feet in the time I was on Big Thunder Mountain. Here we are at the entrance and the line still stretches all the way back. Almost, well, just past Pecos Bill. Big Thunder was fun though. And yes, yes, that was a terrible roller experience. I have a new camera that I'm going to be using for those experiences. So no worries, it will be much better. I am headed out. I'm gonna walk through Liberty Squire and park is calming down. No fireworks, so no huge crowd. Monorail probably, and then uh, back to, wait, how did I get to? Yeah, I was, oh, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Wow, I'm, I'm really, I've lost my touch around here. Bye-bye Magic Kingdom. Now I gotta go check in and go through all of that. Good morning. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Well, okay, I do know what I'm going to do today. Well, first off, coffee, then SeaWorld. It's a beautiful day at SeaWorld. I feel like it's been more than a minute since we've been here. They repositioned, repositioned, no, they did not reposition the parking lot. They reoriented the parking lot. Totally new to me and the chargers are gone, oh well. Maybe they're coming back, maybe not, probably not. There was one that's been broken for quite a while. And the one over at headquarters, the fast charger, that's also gone. Oh, so disappointing. Oh, why do they hate us electric car drivers? What did we do to deserve this? An impressive park entrance. That's definitely what they were going for. Entrance is right here. That is pipeline in the background. Everybody should know that, right? I don't know, it is, well, the parking gates were backed up. Don't know how the park is going to be because they uh, they were unexpectedly slammed today. They were a bit chaotic when parking the cars, so we'll see. We'll see. Oh wow, there's a oh my god, there's a line. No, no line. It was just people walking in from the parking lot. Is the pass holder entrance gone? Oh my gosh. My own pro tip for the day. I asked an ambassador. The entrance over there is closed no longer, but. Because I apparently cannot read, the new Platinum member entrance is, there you go. Merch check will say, while SeaWorld does not have the expansive array that Disney or even Universal does, they have some really nice stuff, very well curated. This is, look at that. That bright grapefruit shirt that everyone seems to love, that is from SeaWorld. Maybe, oh, ha <laughs> catch that? Oh, hold on. We have a dead end here. I wonder what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, that building back there, has that always been there or has it just been refurbished? It doesn't look familiar. It was behind trees for a long time if it has been there for a while. Plus one, SeaWorld, for keeping the water effect working. Usually one of the first things to go. Not even a 15 minute wait and still a fun ride. I will say though, the vest restraints have not softened up. They are still a little bit tight on the collarbone. So if they could maybe re-engineer that just a smidge, that would be even more fabulous. Bumper, what are you doing here? Perfect timing for Icebreaker. I think I only waited about 15 minutes. It is now up to 40. It's a good ride. When there's differences in like rules, I try to figure out why because on Pipeline, I was able to ride like this with the headband and the glasses, no problem. Here on Pipeline, they make you take off the sunglasses. I'm trying to figure that out because Pipeline to me is a much more forceful experience. It even has an inversion. And this is, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as intense as pipeline, but who knows? I should make the rules. Oh, and SeaWorld. <laughs> yeah, those trains. Oh my God. You gotta do something about that. And the seatbelt, seriously, can we just, you got rid of the comfort collars. That's awesome. But can we just get rid of the seatbelt? That's, why? Why is it even there? Because pipeline, that has an inversion and it's just a, uh, 
a, a shoulder harness 